Hello peoples, part 3. We're continuing with the questions and we are on question number 55. Have you ever seen a dead body? Yeah, too many times. They're kind of freaky. Look, they look like rubber or something. It's really weird. Ugh. Oh, definitely not like the person that used to be in that body. Do you have a celebrity crush? Yep, good old James Marsden. What is the one thing scientists should invent? They should invent an unbreakable washing machine, dryer, Xbox 360, and every other game, console, and computer laptop. Even. <laughs> Basically, they should cop on. Have you ever broken a bone? No, but I have dislocated a bone. What happens after you die? Okay, I'll let you know. If it ever happens, which it will, but I don't know. Uh, do you watch or read the news? Uh, I'm forced to read the news because when I when I go onto you know my homepage, it's there in big writing. But the news is bullshit. Always is bullshit. Uh, wait with the news, okay? Wait till the day after, and then they're forced to tell the truth the day after usually. But never, never, you know, the, like the, the headlines, don't believe them until the day after. Anyway, you get my meaning. What stereotype would you label yourself as being? I seriously don't know. Would your friends agree with that? I don't know. If you could change your name, what would you change it to? I don't know. I like the name Mark. I think it's a nice name. Um, so there you go. I suppose Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> Ugh, forget it. Okay, 64. If you could go back in time to one point in your life, where would you go? I wouldn't actually go. I wouldn't. If you could change anything about yourself, what would you change? I was... Um, if I could change anything. I don't know. I suppose I, I, be more good looking, <laughs> or something. I probably have more money. Um, I suppose I. To be honest with you, I would. I wouldn't. I would never have smoked before. I, I'd, ne I'd never have started smoking. So there you go. Cause I'm still suffering from. The after effects of smoking, even though I've given it up now over a year. Um, okay, where are we? If you could change, I don't know. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? No, I haven't. Believe me, I have not. Because I really am, my skin is very sensitive to cold water, so I would probably have a heart attack. I jumped into if I start if I went skinny dipping. If the water was warm, I would. By God, yeah, if the right crowd were there. Uh, have you ever played strip poker? No, I can not play poker. I don't know how. What would you? Uh, would you ever lie to someone to make them feel good about themselves? Um. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I've been caught before, in the past. So no, whatever what comes out of me gospel truth and I'm fuck the gospel but it's the truth okay no uh, okay uh, what do you want your friends to think about you that I can be trusted and they think that anyway and they know it so there you go what's the biggest argument you've ever gotten to would have been with my father and blows were you know nearly got to that with me as well. Have you ever bitten someone? No, never. God, no. Jesus Christ. I'm not a fucking vampire. When's your birthday? My birthday is in April the 15th. Have you ever stolen anything? Oh, God, yeah. A lot. Um, not nowadays, of course. But when I was a kid and a teenager, I was wicked. Do you make wishes on shooting stars? No. 
What's the most you've ever eaten in one sitting? I suppose. I suppose um, a big plate of chips, and there was there was like uh, minced meat with oxtail soup and beans on it. I know that sounds disgusting, but it was my favorite, and it was a great big huge mound of it. And I ate myself. I ate myself. Oh my god! I ate so much. Okay, uh, do you make wishes on, no, sorry, where am I now, hold on now, sorry guys, um, if you could go back and change one day, what would it be, particular memories, a particular memory actually that happened, a violent memory in my past, I didn't do it, but it was something that I witnessed that I would change. Do you remember your dreams? Yeah, I do a lot. Have you ever been in love? Absolutely, right now I am. And I'm in love with you guys too. Are you a morning person or a night person? I suppose I'm both. Do you have any phobias? Yep, things that are too big. Things that are abnormally big. That's why I have to shower blindfolded. What's the meanest thing you've ever done to someone? I suppose cheated. I cheated before, and that was when I was. That was that was when I. I suppose I would have been about sixteen. I, I'd never in my life do it now, ever to Nigel, ever, and I'd never ever do it again anyway. But that was the meanest thing. I cheated. I was with two girls at one time, and that was not fucking funny. It was not nice either. Have you ever been to the hospital? Yes, I have. I have been to the hospital a few times. But with illnesses and crap. How many screen names do you have? I have screen names. God, I've got a few actually. I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube. Um, I have another channel on YouTube as well, just in case. I sometimes post my videos to that one as well, just in case this channel gets deleted. But I don't, you know, I just, I don't really use it as such. I don't read any comments on that channel or anything. Um, oh, wait, I actually do have another channel as well that um, I post. I used to post on it, but since my father died, I don't use it anymore because he used to watch my videos. Um, so do you have medical problems? Do any medical problems run in your family? Well, cancer does, lads. Cancer runs in my family. Has have anyone ever been disowned from your family? I felt disowned from them, but it was only just paranoia, really. Now my eighty-sixth question, and after this, I'm going to go to part four. Have you ever had a nightmare? Yes, I suffer from nightmares. Terrible, terrible nightmares. And, um, I mean, my nightmares would turn the hair on your head white. They're really, really awful. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you again in video four.